In 2013, about a year before she married former NFL player Eric Johnson, Jessica Simpson purchased a stunning mansion in Hidden Hills for $11.5 million off of Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne. This 2.5 acre estate would become Jessica's family home for more than a decade, where she lived with her husband and their three children. Now, the pop star and billionaire fashion entrepreneur has decided to try and sell her longtime home for $22 million. While it's unknown where she's off to, Jessica did reveal in an interview recently that she's thinking about a permanent move to Nashville to reboot her music career. Either way, her stunning LA mansion would be hard to let go of as it boasts over 13,000 square feet of updated and colorful spaces, including a double height foyer with spiral staircase, a recording studio, gym, and a resort style backyard. Jessica Simpson is most recently trying to sell her longtime Los Angeles home for $22 million after sharing that she spent the summer living in Nashville with her family. The singer turned fashion mogul officially placed her 13,274 square foot mansion on the market, which is located in the upscale guard gated community of Hidden Hills. And looking at the listing photos, the estate is truly unique and stunning. News of the possible home sale follows after Jessica shared that she was so happy to move to Tennessee for the summer with her husband, Eric Johnson, and their three children, Maxwell, Ace, and Birdie Mae. Jessica revealed in August 2023 while they were staying there just how much she loved Nashville and the area. She said, being in Nashville, even my kids are like, you laugh the whole time, you're so happy. The qualities Jessica likes about the Southern city may be even more appealing now, but she's wanting to reboot her music career. She further added about why she likes it there. It's because I'm not on guard. I'm with a lot of like-minded people. It's not about the celebrities. It's really about the music and the heart and the conversation. While a move to Nashville is undoubtedly exciting, the home Jessica would be leaving behind in LA is stunning as they come. The 43-year-old Texas native bought the Hidden Hills Mansion from Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne in 2013 for $11.5 million, slightly before she and Eric Johnson officially tied the knot. The Osbournes purchased the home in 2007, and while living there, they hired Martin Lawrence Bullard to give the mega mansion a huge makeover which was featured in Architectural Digest. While the home looked gorgeous after that makeover, Jessica made the place even more appealing and unique during her 10 year plus stay. More color was brought in, including the multicolored glass by the front door and entryway, as well as stylish touches in every room, such as geometric ceilings, rustic wood touches, and pops of bold paint. Built in 2001, Jessica's Cape Cod inspired estate is set behind a gated driveway and offers up eight bedrooms and 13 baths. The multi-level mansion is introduced by a double height foyer with grand spiral staircase as well as walls of glass. From there, a gourmet kitchen is painted in a dark teal color scheme and outfitted with designer wolf appliances, a center island, walk-in pantry, and a breakfast nook. Then, oversized sliding barn doors lead to a family room set underneath a vaulted wood beam ceiling, and here there's also a fireplace made of reclaimed brick. Another grand living area boasts a geometric ceiling, chandelier, and cozy fireplace. Other spaces in the mansion include a classy and spacious wood paneled library, as well as a home gym and recording studio, which no doubt came in handy for Jessica's years living here. Jessica and Eric's master suite at their Hidden Hills mansion is also luxurious as can be, featuring a stone fireplace as well as a sitting area and a private balcony. There's also an ensuite decked out with a soaking tub and a steam shower, as well as dual walk-in closets. Moving outside, the 2.5 acre grounds are picture perfect and stacked with more amenities, as well as the fact that they're surrounded by city light and mountain views. Aside from the grassy lawn, there's a heated pool with a spa and a separate shallow pool, along with a variety of terraces for alfresco lounging and entertaining. Additionally, the property has a guest house with its own kitchenette too. While Jessica's lived in that home for over a decade, it's not the only place she's owned. If you had the chance to read Miss Simpson's open book, then you probably found her story quite fascinating. And also notice she included some
some of her real estate tales within its pages. Her homes played a major part in the story of her life. Between her Calabasas mansion that was shown during she and Nick Lachey's newlywed days, as well as her current Hidden Hills mansion, Jessica gets heartfelt in the book about the first home that was simply hers, what she calls the Beverly Hills Cottage. So after her divorce from Nick Lachey, Jessica writes how she never had a home of her own or even control of her own life. She went from living with her parents, who managed her career, to living with Lachey in a marriage that quickly went bad as she discovered herself. So Jessica's first home post-divorce was a pretty big deal, a home she goes on and on about as her fairy tale cottage. After seeing photos of this cottage, you'll come to realize it might not be what you imagined. Jessica's former home was actually a stunning 5,500 square foot crib in Beverly Hills. Jessica purchased this property in 2005 for just over $5.2 million right after she announced her divorce from Lachey. It boasts five beds and six baths throughout. Built in 1991, this custom abode had a Hampton style in its design and it was located in one of the most private celebrity enclaves, Hidden Valley. In fitting with the Hamptons vibe, interiors boasted light and airy furnishings, tasteful decor, and park-like grounds. While Jessica lived here, she reportedly got celebrity decorator Rachel Ashwell to do the home up in her trademark shabby chic style. Formal areas such as the living and dining rooms boasted soaring ceilings overhead, while there was also a family-friendly restaurant-style chef's kitchen that leads out to a breakfast room. The breakfast room further led out to the stone courtyard, where there was also a picturesque koi pond. A comfy family room nearby also opened out to the poolside grounds. Other features inside Jessica's former home included a home theater, an office library, and a home gym. Outside, the park-like property featured beautiful gardens as well as a swimming pool. Jessica and her now husband Eric Johnson and their first daughter Maxwell had been living as one happy family in this home for a few years, but once they had their second child, Ace, the growing family decided to sell this cottage and move on to their current mansion. The Hidden Valley home came with quite the celebrity pedigree too. Before Simpson lived here, Paul Hogan, Tom and Kathy Freston, Ellen DeGeneres, and Rick Yorn all called this gorgeous Beverly Hills house home. Jessica sold the home in 2013 for $6.4 million and continued the Hollywood owner tradition. It was reported that Sidney Holland purchased the home and sold it one year later to actress Jennifer Lawrence for $8 million. Before we wrap this house tour up, I'm sure many of you remember Jessica's reality series Newlyweds with her ex-husband Nick Lachey. The first season of the series was filmed over five months with cameras set up in nearly every corner of this house. Jessica and Nick's marital mansion in Calabasas, California. The only parts of the mansion that were off limits for filming were the bedroom and bathroom. The crew had to ask permission anytime they filmed upstairs. An old tabloid from the time the house was purchased in the early 2000s read, Soon to be wed lovebirds, Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey are one step closer to domestic bliss. They purchased a 6,400 square foot home just outside Los Angeles. The spanking new Mediterranean style nest is packed with high tech goodies, like a projection room and a TV in the shower. The singers can listen to their favorite tunes throughout the house, which is wired with a state of the art media system. The nearly 1,000 square foot master suite includes a fireplace, study, and wet bar. Outside are an infinity pool and spa. Pretty crazy to think about how long ago that was. Either way, this McMansion was a piece of reality TV history, but it definitely doesn't hold as many happy memories as Jessica Simpson's homes that followed. After looking at some of Jessica's stunning homes over the years, that will wrap up today's house tour. We'll have to wait and see if she picks up another spa in Nashville soon. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you moved out on your own post-divorce, what type of property would you be seeking to restore your peace? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!